Hi again. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He'll watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. Do you remember back in March when the first lockdown was announced? I took you to this place and I read to you that psalm. To remind you to look up and to see the greatness and the goodness of our God. To remind you that no matter how big the problems around us seem to be, that our God was bigger. We have had a second lockdown announced and it's going to impact our lives significantly again. Not least in the church. We can no longer have in-person uh, services on a Sunday, certainly throughout uh, Tier 4. And I know it's different for the Outer Isles and those that are in Tier 3. And if you're looking for uh, specific guidance on what is and isn't allowed, please do refer uh, to the uh, COVID-19 uh, part of the uh, church's web page and it will take you to the most recent and relevant information that you need. We also find that for funeral services we're restricted to 20, for wedding services restricted uh, to 5. I want again to encourage you to look up and to see the greatness and the goodness of our God. To encourage you to keep doing the things that you have been doing over these past months. Keep trusting. Keep trusting in our sovereign God in his purpose and in his plan, knowing that he does work everything together for our good and his glory. Keep trusting in his love and in his goodness, that he'll continue to keep you and provide for you, that his grace is sufficient for you. Keep loving. Observing the restrictions that are imposed upon us may be difficult, but do you know what you're doing when you do observe these restrictions? You are loving one another as Jesus commanded us to love one another and to love our neighbour as ourselves. By observing the restrictions that have been put in place, we are ensuring that others are kept safe and ourselves are kept safe from COVID-19. But also keep loving one another by looking out for each other. Think about your neighbours, think about your friends, think about other folk in the congregation and ways in which you can help and provide for them. Keep talking. We're living in an age where it's easy to talk to each other, whether it be by phone or in Zoom or whether it be you know, with Skype or WhatsApp or FaceTime. Or, there's endless ways in which we can communicate with each other. Keep talking to those around you so that they don't feel isolated and alone. And if you are feeling isolated and alone, don't wait for that phone to ring. Pick it up and talk to somebody and tell them what you're feeling and what you're needing. And keep talking to God. Keep praying. He tells us to come and to cast all our cares upon him because he cares for us. He tells us not to be anxious about anything, but with everything to come and with prayer and petition make our request known to him. And his peace, he says, which passes all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So keep trusting, keep loving, keep talking, and be patient. This too will pass. This is a difficult time, because we were anticipating everything being over by now, and in many ways it feels like if it's got worse. But this too will pass. We anticipate the uh, rolling out of uh, a vaccine programme, and that will make a big difference. But just be patient, wait upon the Lord, 
and he will give you strength. I'm not trying to underplay at all how difficult this time is, but I do want to just remind you of the important things, and that is just to keep looking up. Don't become downcast. Look up and recognise the greatness of our God, the maker of heaven and of earth, because it's in him we have found and will continue to find our help. Take care, God bless, and we'll speak again soon.